This video will show the protocol for isolating DNA from Genotech saliva samples, measuring the concentration of your isolated DNA using NanoDrop1, and quantifying telomere length of the DNA samples using qPCR. qPCR allows for amplification and subsequent measurement of gene expression. First, the DNA is denatured with high temperatures. Then, the DNA is cooled and primers attached to the appropriate DNA sequence. Last, the DNA is slightly warmed and DNA polymerase catalyzes DNA extension. This process is repeated until sufficient DNA has been synthesized, and now genomic analysis can be done. It is important to maintain a clean workspace, use RNA zap wipes, and a distilled water wash. We will first prepare the TE buffer. If you have stock buffers, you can skip this step. Measure 12.11 grams of tris base, 80 ml of distilled water. Mix using a magnetic flea, pH to 8.0 using HCl. Top to 100 ml total using distilled water. 14.69 grams EDTA free acid and 80 ml distilled water. Always add acid to water. Mix on a hot plate till completely clear with a magnetic flea. Use NaOH pellets to base to 8.0. Top with distilled water to make 100 ml total. One thousand microliters Tris HCl, two hundred microliters EDTA, and ninety-eight point eight milliliters distilled water. Confirm pH is eight point zero. Incubate sample for one hour in fifty degree water. Squeeze out all sample from the swab. Transfer five hundred microliters of sample into a microcentrifuge tube. Add twenty microliters of Prep L2P mixed by Vortex. Incubate ten minutes on ice and place tubes in a known orientation in the centrifuge. The pellet containing impurities will be visible at this stage. Collect supernatant without disturbing the pellet. Discard the pellet. Add 600 microliters 100% ethanol to 500 microliters supernatant. Incubate 10 minutes at room temperature to allow DNA to precipitate, then centrifuge for two minutes. You will most likely not be able to see the pellet, but will know how to locate it based on its orientation in the centrifuge. Remove the supernatant without disturbing the pellet. Be very careful. Now a 70% ethanol wash will be used to purify the DNA. Pulse spin the DNA and ethanol, and then very carefully remove all of the ethanol. Kim wipes can be used to assist this process, as well as a quick dry on the hot plate. Rehydrate the DNA by adding 100 microliters of TE solution, Vortex to mix. Incubate one hour to ensure full rehydration. Rehydrated samples can be stored for one month at four degrees or long-term at minus 20. Measure sample quality and concentration using the NanoDrop. It is expected the 260-230 ratio will be lower than standard due to the presence of carbohydrates in saliva. Dilute each sample to 20 nanograms per microliter using depth sea water. The following method was extracted from Koth in 2002. The following volumes are for one PCR plate well for the telomere analysis. 0.54 microliters forward primer. 1.8 microliters reverse primer. 10 microliters cyber green master mix and 6.66 microliters depth sea water. Repeat this protocol for the 364B PCR plate using the following volumes and primers. Blueprint the location of each sample in your plate. Add 19 microliters of master mix into each well. Followed by 1 microliter of the appropriate template into each well. Use depth seat water for the NTC. Ensure to keep track of your wells as you fill them. Cover the PCR plate with a proper film, then ensure a proper seal with no air pockets. Remove the edges. 
and then place in the prepared machine. Open a new protocol under File, then name your protocol. Set your cycling parameters and melt curve. Based on your blueprint, assign each sample to the proper well. You will be given a countdown once the protocol has started. Simply right click on your sample of choice, export to Excel, name your file, and all results for that sample will open in Excel. Repeat this protocol using the 364B gene instead of the template. The following equation can be used to calculate TS ratio for use in telomere length analyses. 